What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video guys we are going to be talking about Manchester United's last game that we went and played Istanbul, Basakshir in the UEFA Champions League guys. Match day three guys. We were away from home. Anyway guys let's just get straight into today's video guys. So we made five changes from the last game against RB Leipzig. Talking about the starting 11. So we started with Henderson, Wan-Bissaka, Twanzebi, Maguire, Shaw, Van der Beek, Matic, Mata, Fernandez, Rashford. And Martial get into the overall reaction now. Not good enough. Poor, fucking dreadful. The defending is fucking dreadful. Man United stunned by Istanbul Basic Sheer. More questions have got to be asked. Once again, we lacked in creativity. Performance wasn't good enough. Baffling decisions with the substitutions again. This was an easy game last night and we lost. The group is now open. Onwards and upwards, we move on. Anyway guys, let's just get straight into today's video. What did I make of the performance? I thought it was a poor, shocking, dreadful, awful and not good enough performance by Manchester United. You know what? The first thing I'm going to first talk about was the starting 11. When that starting 11 came out, I felt confident. I felt confident that United were going to get a win. I had a feeling that we'd get something out of this. But I think we sort of approached the game in the wrong mentality. I think the mentality was, let's try and do our best here. Uh, let's try and win this game. But whereas the mentality is, you have to win the game. I mean, the performance wasn't good enough for me. I thought it was poor. Another fucking dreadful performance by United. That's back-to-back -back losses now. Obviously, we've lost to Arsenal on the weekend and now lost to Istanbul Basakşehir in the week. But the defending was dreadful and I'll get into that a bit later as well. And we've been stunned by Istanbul Basakşehir. No one saw it coming and I thought we would get something out of that. I thought Istanbul Basakşehir, a known team, but we um, underestimated them. We thought this will be a walk in the park. We thought we'd get away with this, but that's twice now where we thought you would think that we'll get away with it, but no. We didn't get away with it, obviously. We lost the game. More questions have got to be asked by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer now. Once again, time and time again, he lacked in creativity, just didn't create enough chances for me. The performance wasn't good enough, once again. Ole baffling substitutions, once again, he brings off Donny van der Beek, who had a, I was going to say, fantastic game, but I thought he had a, a great game. And he takes him off. I would have kept him on for the full 90 minutes. So I was he's thinking about the game on the weekend against Everton. Like I just said then, this was an easy game and we lost it last night as well. So not good enough. The group's now open to anyone of going through. Uh, that's give Istanbul Basic hopes now of this group. Um, I'm not going to have a rant, but what's really pissed me off is, you know, Istanbul Basic Sheer, they had a tough start to the group. They had Leipzig... Well, they had PSG and Leipzig, and in those two games, Leipzig and PSG, they got clean. They both got clean sheets. And what's pissed me off is we've come into that game and we've probably underestimated them. We've saw Denver Bars play, and he's like 35, 36 years old, and he's still scoring the goals. And what we've done is, is we've, you know, we thought, oh yeah, he's on his last legs now. He's not going to score and stuff like that. But he's still got it, and. We, I mean, what's really pissed me off in the whole in this whole thing is those two goals were their first two goals that they scored in the Champions League, and that's really pissed me off. And I knew it. I, I mean, we we saw what we, we saw what happened on the weekend against Arsenal. Um, they got the win. It was their FA Cup final against us. Uh, but let's hope they go and lose now in the next couple of games, and then. Uh, United, uh, again, I just don't know what to say, and it's like it's like as if we we're, we're that team that where everyone just gets a, where everyone just gets the confident, where everyone gets the, we're that team where we give the opposition the confidence back, and it's not good enough, and we shouldn't be doing that, and um, we've always done that, and then the teams go and then lose in numerous games, and they can't get, and they can't perform to the next level and um, I thought the performance was poor, not good enough for my, for my liking. I thought the first half, um, I thought we started well for the first 10-15 minutes, I thought we came to grips with the game, we were playing well in times, I thought the passing a little bit in the first 10-15 minutes was a little bit sloppy in times, I don't think we were playing at our best in the first half and then we sort of, you know, I don't think we capitulated, I think we just, we. We didn't come to terms of 
I think it uh, was a lack of ideas and we just didn't know what to do in terms of um, going forward. And then I think the I thought we did well when they were uh, when they were. I thought we did really well defensively when they did really well in the quick transition. And then in times we sort of a little bit got uh, complacent and then that's where then the heads were not switched on, we were not awake. Um, and then you've got 11 players committed to one corner, you take it short and then they hit us on the, on the, uh, on the break. And um, what's pissed me off is that, you know, you've got Denver Bar that's free there. Uh, you've got 11 players committed to this one corner and it's a short corner. You're not even fucking taking it long. We're taking it fucking short as well. And then we get caught and then and then you've got the likes of Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, Michael Carrick, Kieran McKenna, Richard Hartis. They're all on the bench there. Mike Phelan as well. All five of them. They're the coaches. And not one of them what is, didn't spot Denver Bar. And they're not screaming or shouting saying, Matic. Get the fuck on, said the guy. And um, not one of them shouted. And I'm fuming with that because, I mean, you don't... Just because you're letting the players do what they do, the coaches have got a mouth at the end of the day. They can open the mouth and say, Matic, you're not on your man. And, I mean, at the end of the day, it was just comical defending. Stevie Wonder would have done better. And, um, I mean... I thought we were going to get something out of that and then we threw it away and then second goal Mata gets caught um, in possession doesn't have any pace gets beaten by his man and then it's 2-0 and then we're fucking thinking shit we're not going to get back into this game and then I thought it was a good reaction good response I thought you know they sort of reacted you know they sort of got too big for the boots, Istanbul, Basakshir, because they were 2 0 up. And then United, great reaction. And now we got one, we just got a goal back before half time. Then you're thinking, let's regroup and let's go again. We've got another 45 minutes to finish this. Uh, we're still in the game. And second half, I thought we played okay in times. Not enough creativity, didn't create enough clear cut chances. And um, not good enough in the end. We, I don't think we left it too late. I just thought not enough clear cut chances for me, and uh, didn't create enough creativity. And you'll see that in the stats in a minute as well. So goes to show that um, not enough clear cut chances. We didn't create enough chances on goal, and uh, for me, not good enough. Not good enough. This is our first defeat in the Champions League against Istanbul Basaksehir. What went wrong? I think for me, it was the lack of quality. I think you've got so many good players out there on the field that we were good enough to beat Istanbul Basaksehir, but it was just a lack of quality from the players. I thought it was also the defending letters down that went really completely wrong as well. First goal was comical to concede as well of what we did. Second goal, get caught out. Matter has no pace whatsoever. I think everything went wrong for us. Well, I was going to say nothing went our way, but we were not good enough. We didn't perform for a full 90 minutes. Lack of quality, no character, no fight, no passion, no pride, didn't play for the club, didn't play for the badge. Just a lot went wrong in the game, too many mistakes. Defending was an absolute shambolic. The defence was non-existent and it was not good enough in that first half. The first half really killed us really. And it just looked like again that in the second half it just did not look like we were going to score a goal. Everything really went wrong for us. Too many mistakes, not enough creativity going forward. Lack of ideas as well going forward. Final third in times was good, but sometimes, again, the football intelligence wasn't great as well. The technical side of it was not good as well. So much went wrong, I have no words to describe it. Because the group's massively open now. We should have won this game, we should be on nine points. Yes, we might be in a good position. It goes to show now that with three games to go, we've got to win probably at least two of them now. And that's against Istanbul Basic Share at home again. The next two games is Istanbul Basic Share and PSG. And a lot went wrong, but for me, what got me was the defending. The defending was awful. Stevie Wonder would have done better. It's not good enough. A lack of quality, probably a lack of depth in the side as well. Not enough commitment, not enough desire. Didn't fight as well. Too many things went wrong for us. 
in that game and we need to analyse and get to the bottom of it of what's going wrong at the minute as well. What is Man United's biggest problem at the moment? Now the first I'm going to get onto is the inconsistency. Now what it is is with Manchester United and we did this last season as well. What we'll do is, is we'll go on a good run of games, we'll win some fantastic games, we're putting some really good performances in where we beat the likes of Newcastle, PSG, RB Leipzig and because we're still young these players fucking think it's great we'll go and draw a game which we did against Chelsea and again we're going with the wrong mindset the wrong mentality in games in the likes of Arsenal and Istanbul Basic and they think that they're trying to win the game you have to win the game that's the mentality so never mind about saying we have to try and win the game you have to win the game the mentality is you have to win every single game not only just in the Champions League, but in the Premier League as well. What it is is with us, we'll win a couple of games, some really bad results, and then all of a sudden we find that game where we just think, we need to fucking win, and then we win a game, we win a game, and then we draw, lose. So we're all over the place because we're inconsistent, and we're inconsistent because I think it's just down to the complacency. We get too carried away after a couple of good games as well. I think we got too carried away after we beat Leipzig. I thought it was a good game against Chelsea. Didn't turn up to the game against Arsenal. I thought in this one against Istanbul Basakşehir, did we sort of a little bit get lethargic as well? And also in the last couple of games, in the Chelsea game, Arsenal game, in the Istanbul game as well. Lack of creativity as well. We're not creating enough chances as well. I think there's not enough effort in the team as well. Not enough commitment, not enough desire. We've got a lack of leaders as well in the team. I mean, last night, who was our leaders? Maguire, Bruno, Matic, Mata. Not enough leaders for me. And we could have brought in another leader in in the summer if we would have got Jack Grealish. He would have been a leader as well. We need more leaders into the team. It's not good enough. And obviously, the main focus really is the manager. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer now twice on the bounce has got it completely wrong. He got the team selection right in this game. But then he fucked about with the substitutions. The substitutions were all wrong. Well, not all wrong, but taking off Donny van der Beek was really stupid as well. The manager's got to take a lot of stick for this as well. He's the one that's got the tactics, the game plan. Again, the game plan was to probably try and do what Istanbul did. Soak up the pressure when you get the chance on the break. Quick in transition, take your chances and score your chances. And we didn't do that. It was like if we were RB Leipzig last week. They were Manchester United in that game of what we did last week. So we were not good enough. It's got to be sorted out ASAP. We're not in a great position right now ourselves in the league. We need to be sorted out. We need to get to the bottom of what's letting us down as well right away. We need to sort it out ASAP. Why is United so inconsistent? I think it's because the reason why I think we're so inconsistent is because we're still young and we get too carried away after a couple of good games in the likes of PSG game, RB Leipzig game. We think, oh yeah, we've beaten two great sides. They both got to the semi-final and the final of the Champions League last year. We were in the Europa League last year and we've gone and beaten the two great sides. PSG, who were the champions, obviously, in France. RB Leipzig that were currently first in the table, but now they're not. So we sort of get too carried away after games and the mentality when we go into games is wrong as well. We think we're going to win the game. We don't. We get our pants pulled down. You think the mentality is we have to try and win the game. You have to win the fucking game for fuck's sake. And I think it's complacency as well. We get too complacent in times. We're just not on top of it. We're not getting the right balance. It goes to show that with the substitutions once again, that Ollie's getting wrong. He's not doing it right. It goes to show why we're going so inconsistent. Three things for me. We get too carried away. The mentality's wrong and we get too complacent in times. That's why we're so inconsistent. Who was the worst player on the pitch? Now, obviously, going through the lineup, I thought, I don't think Henderson was our worst player. You do think with those two goals, Henderson should have been better. I thought Wan Bissaka didn't have a good game. Swan Zebi, he got taken off. It was tactical as well because one, he was on a yellow card. Ollie didn't want to risk him of getting another one. And then, unless it would have gone from bad to worse if he would have got sent off. Maguire, people try and put the blame on Maguire because he's the captain. You've got to see the other players around him. At the end of the day, I thought Luke Shaw was the player that had a go, tried to make things happen. He got the assist for the goal as well. Van der Beek, I thought he played well. I thought Matic didn't have a good game. Mata didn't have a good game. Bruno, 
was so so in the game rashford wasn't good as well martial i thought he was good because he got us the goals if there's one player who was the worst player out on the pitch fortunately i'm gonna have to give it matic because i thought he was not good could have been better in the goal that we conceded it's his fault it's not only just his fault at the end of the day for the first goal i think at the end of the day you've got to look at the bigger picture the first goal was down to every single player out on the pitch really and then second goal just comical and we let the cross in we can't clear the ball it's hard to pick who was the worst player because there was quite a few other players that didn't have a good game either i think for me you've got to give it matic so i don't think really matic had a good game it is what it is at the end of the day how do we beat istanbul basic share yeah. now this is the thing is this a good way for manchester united to go and play istanbul basic share yeah once again after getting beaten i think in this game now i think obviously with the international break coming up i think this is what the players needed this will be good now in terms of players going on international break go and get your confidence back and come back with a smile on your face and obviously with the, obviously with the players that don't go on international break that's uh, comes in favor for them to build up on the fitness and to get sharper and to get uh, and to be quicker um, and stuff uh, and, and to be quicker um, and with the movement and stuff like that and we need you know the work rate needs to be shown on and off the ball as well so I think coming up against the Istanbul Basic Shear at home this time it's like one of those games where you know we don't want to rectify what happened away from home this is the fact that you know we have beaten we've got just beat by this team we want to sort of get our our own revenge back on them now at our at our stadium at Old Trafford so I think with Istanbul Basic Shear I knew exactly I even said what I even said in my last video that they had a good goalkeeper they're defensively very good uh, they keep it rock solid at the back they were organized they were a unit they kept it tight at the back and they frustrated us at the back as well I think it was also the fact that United couldn't break down Istanbul as well and we can break them down it was just a lack of creativity from us as well so it just goes to show that we need to have the creativity in the game as well. You've got to have a quick start. And I always say this time and time again in every single video. Have a good start to the game. Have a quick start to the game. If you have a quick start to the game and you show that that, that energy, it means that you are willing to win this game. And... I mean, if we get off to the good start against them with high intensity, high tempo, high press, get them under pressure, create the chances, we need everything out the final third, we need to keep it tight at the back, we need to be a unit at the back, we need to stay organised as well, which we're not organised as well. And we're going to have to, and if we do with play with the diamond, we're going to have to really be quick in the transition as well. And we're going to have to create the chances, we're going to have to score on our chances, and Istanbul will make it, they'll try and make it uncomfortable for us. Uh, and um, I mean, they'll defensively keep the shape. And um, I mean, this could be one of those games where it could end up in a draw. So, I mean, Istanbul, they'll, they'll be coming away from home. Uh, they don't have the home advantage. So, the United have that home advantage, obviously, with our poor form at the minute. We might do, but we need it. We just need to show that. Um, we just need to show that uh, intent in our play and um, we just need to, you know, grow in our confidence. And I think it's the fact that, you know, we need to press the reset button and go again after the international break and hopefully get the confidence back against West Brom. So coming up into this game, I think we, we know it's, an, it's a tough game. It's going to be a difficult game. We know what we need to do against this. We know what we need to do against this Istanbul side and... You know, it's funny because United have not even beaten a Turkish side as well. So we need to sort of get our, our, our own way of getting revenge. And Istanbul, they're a great side. Um, you know, they, they, they were fantastic against us last night. And we can't, we can't have in, we can't happen, we can't do the same thing what happened last night. And um, we need to put on a better performance from start to finish. I think the players need to prepare well. Not only just mentally, but physically as well. It's going to be a test as well. And I think uh, coming into this game, it's all about the mindset. And I think if we win this game, it sort of gets us back uh, in pole position in the group as well. And it obviously, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, 
we need to win at least the two of the next three games. So if we can do that, it's done and dusted anyway. And, th and use this game as a and use this game to sort of get get back going again and find the and then obviously we'll find the confidence, we'll find the winning mentality back and we'll get the mood back up in the dressing room. Hopefully if we get West Brom out of the way, they're struggling right now as well. So I'm sure we'll come into this game full of confidence, ready to ready to go and um it's just one of those games that um you know, win the game and let's see what happens against RB Leipzig and PSG. So I think we'll be up for the fight. It's going to be tough, but we're going to have to be ready from uh, from minute one. And we're going to have to just put the foot on the gas and we can't take our eye off the ball. We've got to stay concentrated and stay focused at all times. And it's one of those games where we're going to have to be on top of it. And uh, we were not on top of it last night. We were dreadful. And uh, we need to put that behind us and look forward now. And... Um, Let's see what happens, eh? And we need a good performance uh, against Istanbul Basakshir. And uh, they'll give us a good game, a uh, good fight. We're going to have to be ready on the day, not only just physically, but mentally as well, and going with the right mindset and uh, win the game as well. Getting into the goal now, first goal, Bruno passed the ball to Shaw. Shaw controls the ball, goes round the player, puts in a fantastic crossing for Martial. Martial heads it in for 2 1. Getting into the stats now, possession for Basakshir was. 31.8% and for Man United it was 68.2%. Goals for Basic Shea it was 2 and for Man United it was 1. Total shots for Basic Shea it was 9 and for United it was 10. Shots on target for Basic Shea it was 3 and for Man United it was 2. Shot accuracy for Basic Shea it was 33.3% and for Man United it was bang on 20%. Shots inside the box for Basic Shea it was 4 and for Man United it was 6. Shots outside the box for Basic Shea, it was 5, and for Man United it was 4. Total passes for Basic Shea, it was 349 passes, and for Man United it was 752 passes. Pass accuracy for Istanbul Basic Shea was 73.6%, and for Man United it was 85.5%. Getting to the substitutions now, Twanzebi went off from McTominay, talk about Axel's performance, struggled against the Willy Denver Bar but was not helped by Harry Maguire, leaving him isolated. Got booked and was substituted at half-time. Van der Beek went off a Pogba talk about Donny's performance. Started well, but faded after Barr struck. Though so did the whole United side, withdrawn for Paul Pogba 15 minutes into the second half. Matter went off for Cavani talk about Matter's performance. Feebly robbed of the ball and Batikshire made it 2-0. Started the second half, but only lasted 15 minutes before making way. Rashford went off a Greenwood we'll talk about Rashford's performance. Too selfish, too often with the ball and did not make Rafael da Silva look like a United reject. Never got going. wan Bissaka went off for Fossey Mensah talk about Aaron's performance. Pointlessly pondered in the final third and it led to the opener. Nowhere to be seen for Batikshire second and his service was poor. Next up, we've got Istanbul Basak Shir. They're obviously still fourth in the table. They haven't moved a place or anything like that. I've also forgot to mention something as well. And I think United played too narrow against them last night and we didn't really get the ball out wide enough. And that's why we need to sort of rely on players like Wambasaka and Luke Shaw to sort of to push up high, high up the pitch and play as wingers as well. And we didn't do that enough last night. And that's where we sort of got caught in times as well because I thought Shaw did well on the left-hand side but Aaron didn't do very good on the right-hand side because the second goal came from his side. Again, we need to sort that right-hand side out even though he's a good defender, wan -Bissaka. We need to prevent these stupid goals from happening so we can get wan -Bissaka more further pushed up up the field acting as wingers and we need to do that more as well. So far, Istanbul Basak Shir are scoring 0 point. 7 goals per game, so nearly a goal. And so far, Basic Shire conceding 1.7 goals per game, so nearly 2 goals per game. They have won 1, drawn none, and lost 2 games. They've lost to Leipzig 2-0 and PSG 2-0. One of them was at home and one of them was away from home. This will be our second meeting with Istanbul Basic Shire. Istanbul Basic Shire are currently 11th in the Super League. They'll probably may end up higher. Oh, he needs to pick the right team selection, put the players in the right positions, he needs to balance the team out right, the structure in the team needs to be right, he needs depth for the team, and he needs to select the right formation for the game. The players to look out for is Raphael, Skirtle, Topol, Visca, Oskan, Kvechi, Turek, Chadley, Denverbar, Kvele, and Goodbranson. Hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new. See you guys in a video in the next couple of days, and peace.